technology, and I thought the only way to do it was to study Tesla. So I started reading his books and building the devices, just so you understand what is going on here. I mean, you can read about light bulbs and litter cars inside the room, and you can read about running a light bulb in dead short situation in his books if you find them. But there's nothing like doing it in person. It took me three days to, to get my guts up to touch this wire. You know, I mean, it was really, I, I was scared. And, to touch it, to touch what's running, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and it took me another. We'll see the water. It took me another couple of days, and I, I was standing and I just looked like, like this. <laughs> I was scared. I mean, like that was gonna say. You know, I mean, it's not, it doesn't see. My mind told me like this is gonna just drop me dead. You've been educated in a, in a certain way to believe. Absolutely. And and you should be. And I put in my videos on YouTube that uh, don't try this at home. Because if you plug this into the wall, if you can get the level of lady to grab the side, you can't remember it. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get going here. Okay. So. so this, is a, this is a 12 volt light bulb. It gets brighter as you come down. I'm not going to go too far down, it'll burn it up. So you can see how it works out. You can also go like this. As I come down, you're going to see it get brighter and brighter and brighter. Oh. You can see I get a considerable energy here from the light bulb. And as I touch that arc by myself, you know? So I tell you, it's fine. <laughs> It's only when I touch the end and when I make it work. This is my battery. This device here makes the electricity in the same way. Yeah. Just for those uh, on the video, the first bulb was a 12 volt light bulb, and the second one was 100, 100, 120 watt, 100 watt, 120 volt, 100 watt bulb. I wanted to just do something that you know people would not normally think of doing is taking a 12 volt light bulb and a fluorescent tube and hook them up in series. Okay, so I mean, <laughs> something should go wrong here. Like you, you should either, nothing should happen. Okay, right, so let's plug it back in. So we're lighting up like that. That's a 12 volt light bulb in series of the Polaris cube. <laughs> and so, uh, wow. you know, that's not normal. So that, that was a 12 volt light bulb in series with a fluorescent tube, and they both liked it. You know? So you show, you show me a circuit you can do that with. <laughs> let's see what else I had I was going to do on this thing here. So we have. Oh, yeah, let's, let's get our hands wet. <laughs> Absolutely. I need a volunteer. <laughs> So what we got here now is we got hooked up the base of the circuit. I still have the shunt in place. I won't do this without the shunt. It's just too much scalar energy for my hands to enjoy. But there are bare wires 
right here on the ends. There is nothing insulating this wire. This is tap one right out of the bathroom here. And this is a 120 volt light bulb in just regular water. And I gotta, we'll turn it on and uh, you'll see it lit up. No, just plug it also. Just unplug it. Plug it right in. Chip freezer? No, it just needs to be tripped. I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to take an alligator clip and turn it right across the light bulb in the water. It dims it a bit. It doesn't get warm. Yeah, it's pretty good. Was that a dead short? That was an alligator clip right across the light bulb. So. Uh, any questions about that? <laughs> yeah? <laughs> is, is the gap essential to this? I mean, if you take the gap out of it. What? The, the, the spark gap? Yeah. Well, don't put your hands in the water then. What? Don't put your hands in the water if you don't have a spark gap. So the spark gap is somehow. It's essential. Yeah, well, it, it's essential. essential. We'd be able to build and scale away with it. This is a, again, I try, you can't make this device without a spark gap. Okay. It's, a, it's essential. So did, did your hand get hot? No, don't put your hand in the water. You want to do it? Go ahead. Go ahead. Volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get it, babe. <laughs> and it's important that it's yeah. connected yeah. above yeah. the capacitor. Don't touch the bottom. Don't touch the bottom. Don't touch the bottom. Because Anywhere you want. Both sides. Gotcha. It's, it's below the capacitor. It's straight one ten. Ah. Go ahead. It's got both sides of it. Very wide, you know. No, the orange lines are the bottom of the screen. Right, right, not the light bulb. I give the mic to the light bulb. That was awesome. I say the same. The gap needs to be a little bit. Don't hang over. The gap constructs the scalar waves. It's basically a Tulsa coil. This is basically his primary for assessing quality. If you look at his drawings, there's about six ways he built his primaries. This is one of his primaries. So, uh, if we were to like join hands and do the daisy chain and then pick up a uh, the old uh, toy there, the wooden pallet mm -hmm. with the ball, mm -hmm. that wooden pallet should uh, also light up. Uh, the, I think it's a fifth person. It I haven't up. tried that. <laughs> That'd be interesting if we could do it. Right. Any other questions regarding what we did? Those terminals that you've got on there that you move up and These down. right here? Yeah. Any what? Yeah, because I actually put my light bulbs, which we'll get to in, if I ever get going, light bulbs, screw into there. So I can leave them there, move them around. I just saved a little time earlier, but just by touching the wires directly to it. But you know, when you leave it there, it's kind of hard to like, what are you going to tape it, duct tape it or something else? So I put it in there.